After decades of flying under the radar, D'Angelo was eventually undone by his digital fingerprint. Night beats Maria Medina on the online database that helped DNA experts make that match. And I think it's it's really exceptional police work. Forensic DNA expert Monty Miller says when investigators collected evidence in the Golden State killings, they had no idea how valuable it would be decades later. Back then, they didn't have any idea that we were going to be running DNA, but some of that evidence is still useful today. KPIX5 has learned investigators uploaded the collected DNA on GEDmatch, a genealogy research site, and they got a match. Investigators say they were able to find, quote, very distant family of the suspect, but that's all they would need to crack the case. They probably found multiple family or potential family members and then narrowed it down from there. They looked for people that were lived in a particular area. Uh, depending on the match, it also will tell you what the likely relationship is. Miller says the process of elimination began there. They knew where the crimes were committed, so investigators likely asked the suspect's distant relatives if they had any family members in those areas. DNA, Miller says, can also sometimes tell you a person's physical traits and ethnicity. You know, height, eye color, I mean, you can virtually determine many, many, many physical traits. It all came to an end for Joseph D'Angelo after investigators obtained DNA from an item he discarded recently, and it matched with the DNA they'd collected years ago. Miller says the detective work in this case could lead to other cold cases being solved. It gives you an enormous number of leads. Um, and I, I think it's a, any place where you can get good information that's public information is certainly something the police should do. And Miller says DNA can last years depending on how it's stored. On the Night Beat, I'm Maria Medina.